So an example to kind of look at this one, guys, is we have 410 degrees. How do you find a cotermal angle? And what I'm going to ask you guys to do is how do you find a, a positive acute angle um, using cotermal angles? So the best way to understand this, guys, is see if you can agree with me. Theta equals 360 degrees plus 50 degrees. Would you guys agree with that statement? Okay. Now you might say, well, okay, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just do 400 plus 10 degrees, right? That, you could do that too, couldn't you? Why would I do 360 degrees? Why would I use that? Yes. That's a revolution, right? That's a full circle around. So if I'm doing, if I'm trying to graph this, if I do 360, I just did this. Didn't I kind of just like waste my time? If I'm trying to find just the angle that's acute, like an acute angle that's the same, didn't I just waste my time going around the circle? I didn't really, I just started, I just came back to where I started. Then I have to go an extra 50 degrees, which is coming back up here. So if I want to find a cotermal angle, I could have just done this, right? Which was really just what? 50 degrees, right? So doing the extra 360, which we call an extra revolution, was kind of like a waste of time. So if I want to find a positive acute angle, if I want to find, or just a, if I want to find a, the acute angle that's coterminal, what I would need to do is just subtract 360 degrees. And that gives me 50 degrees. And I hope you guys would agree with me that, three, uh, that 410 degrees is equivalent to 50 degrees. They're the same, I mean, they're not the same measure of angle, but they take you to the same terminal side. And that's the definition of coterminal angles, angles that have the same initial and terminal side. Okay, so they're not the same measure of angle, obviously. Like if you rotate 410, that's different than rotating 50. But they take you to the same initial and terminal side, which is important.